Charlie Thomas, your in-game host here in Mackey Arena for Purdue men's basketball. I'm joined today by Coach Matt Painter. We are going to go 94 feet today to get you ready for the season. Coach, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's start <laughs> off here. So first of all, our team is looking just a little bit different this season. Mm. So coming off that 29 and 8 record from last season and then also that Sweet 16 trip as well. Can't forget about that. Yep. So kind of what is it like this season? What's it, what's that transition looking like? Yeah, it's it's not really that big of a deal. Like you you have one team, everybody always looks at that team versus the team the previous year, and you just you start all over. You know, you just do. You don't leave any stone unturned. Like you work from a fundamental standpoint. Um, you got to get figured out like what's your strengths, especially from a scoring standpoint. Obviously, with Zach Eady returning, that really helps. But we have a lot of experienced guys, and we have a lot of new guys. So with four true freshmen, two redshirt freshmen, and then a fifth-year transfer, we have a lot of new guys. But we do have some experience just trying to blend everybody together. But it's what you do every year. People don't quite realize that. They always want to look at and magnify what you lost versus what you have. And I think we have a lot of really good pieces. And you mentioned Zach Eady here, so I want to expand on that. He's coming back here for his junior year. So how's he looking? What are you expecting from him? He's done some good things, you know, just trying to get um, consistency across the board for everybody, not just him. Um, but you have some young guys that have never dealt with somebody um, who's been that big. Um, you, you get some young guys that have never fed the post before. Like we, like our culture is really a ball screen motion culture. And so like now you just got to get guys working together, but um, you know, he's a weapon and, and one guy's just not going to stop him. So you got to be able to play through those rotations, but he's, he's gotten better every single year. Yeah. And you mentioned some of those new guys as well. So we've got Fletcher lawyer and we also have Braden Smith too, kind of younger, but how are they transitioning into college basketball? They're both doing fine. Um, obviously they're getting a lot thrown at them, but it, it really helps you know you come in the summer um, you know you get familiar with your teammates get familiar with the coaches the vernacular things of that nature but both of those guys have done some really good things and uh, more than anything they're just looking forward to playing somebody else I think our team um, is tired of really beating up on each other and Zach Eady we talked about him coming back but we've also got a couple of others we want to mention too real quick we've got Ethan Morton we've got Mason Gillis and we also have Braden Newman coming yep. in too so kind of how are they looking and what are they going to do with that new role? Yeah, well, that's the experience. You know, those guys have been through it. You know, David Jenkins is, um, you know, a grad transfer, so he has a lot of experience not being here. But Brandon Newman, Ethan Morton, Mason Gillis, like those guys have been through it. And you really want to lean on those guys. You know, it's a, it's a production game. So, you know, whoever puts themselves in those positions are, is really going to benefit from it. But anytime you have that experience with those guys, you know, it can really help your, your team as they grow and you kind of blend everybody together. Switching gears here a little bit, the Big Ten, it really appears to be wide open here for us. So what does Purdue need to do to win that Big Ten title? Um, take one. <laughs> Big question, right? Uh, one game at a time. Like they, they put a lot of people up on a pedestal and they really haven't done anything. And we've been that team before. Right now we're not. Like we're kind of getting picked in the middle of the pack. And you know, last year, you know, Wisconsin won it all and they got picked like ninth or tenth. Then they turn around this year and they pick them ninth again. Like, like that doesn't make a whole lot of sense for the consistency that they've had. So, but it's a it's a new season. Um, you know, you, you just try to kind of work your way through non-conference. Obviously, you got to build your resume. Um, but no, I, I feel good about it. Like your goal every year is to win the Big Ten. Like there's years people have thought like, hey, Purdue's going to win it. We haven't. And there's years like, ah, it'll be in the middle of the pack. And then we're right there at the end. And so 2019 was kind of one of those years. And you know, I like our pieces. We just our young guys got to grow into it and our old guys have to play like they have that experience. Want to kind of switch it up a little bit here and talk about you here. So Indiana Kitchen, it is really boiler made and so are you yourself. You mm. were a Purdue student, Purdue basketball player right. and now the coach here. So what is it like to kind of have that Purdue made? Right. Yeah, being at your alma mater is, is, is cool. Like, you know, you, you just never think when you're playing that you'd ever be the coach here. You know, you always I always thought that Coach Katie would was coach forever, you know, but um, you know, it's special. And I always talk to our players about that. Like, you know, you know, like to look at things like well, you're all replacements. Like be grateful for what you have. I'm very grateful to be the head coach at Purdue. But this is an unbelievable environment. We have unbelievable fans. 
It's one of the best basketball venues, you know, in the entire country, if not the best. And I want to go off that too real quick. Mackey Arena, where we are right now. I mean, this atmosphere, it is unmatchable. I mean, it's unbelievable. So uh, what are your thoughts going to be here in Mackey Arena for the season? Well, we've had 41 straight sellouts, so keep getting sellouts, right? You know, keep, you know, adding to it and, and keep building that. Um, but no, give them a reason to cheer. Like sometimes they just think it's automatic, you're gonna be at home and you're gonna win. That's not the way it is. You still have to, you know, take care of business, you still have to play well. But but do your part, you know, be ready from a coaching standpoint, get your players ready to go. Because if you do play well, you know, these fans are definitely gonna help you. Hey, this is the place to be, I'm telling you. Coach, thank you so much and all we right. wish you the best of season here. We're all rooting for you. Boiler up. All right, cool. Thank you.